HTTV in association with Absolute Warehouse Services. Scott, you've been in the Town Academy for a number of years now. How have you seen yourself and your game develop during that time? Uh, massively during the nine years that I've been here, including when Broms and Hoodie have come in, massively changed. Uh, I think I've improved a lot as a player, physical side and just in tactical side as well, so it's been a massive improvement for me as well. For supporters who don't know who Scott High is or how you play, what, what would you say to them are your kind of biggest strengths? Uh, probably passing, so I like getting on the ball a lot, like playing it into the forwards and like long balls as well, and then just being calm on the ball, like trying to start attacks for the attackers, give it up into the forward play so they can like do the business and score the goals. You've been working with Mark Hudson for just over six months now. How has he helped accelerate your process of developing and becoming a, a better, stronger player? Oh, massively. Uh, every day working with him, it's just uh, it's great to work with people like Hoodie and like Broms as well as the academy manager, so it's just it's enjoyable coming in every day and playing football with these guys to learn more. What, what kind of stuff do they tell you about your game and how you can improve and how you've developed? Uh, every time like we play a game and stuff, uh, we go along analysis and like sometimes it brings me in to show me like uh, Jonathan Hogg's clips and stuff like that and then base it off my game, so it's massively to show like what the first team players are doing and then to like reenact it for myself as well. That must give you a lot of help, especially with the under-19s and elite development team yeah. playing in the same style as the first team. Yeah, yeah massively, yeah. Because if uh, you get a call up to the first team to train with them, then obviously if we're doing the same phases of playing, like the training sessions as them, it's just going to be easily to fit into their team as well. You mentioned Jonathan Hogg, obviously, as you watching some of his clips with Lee Bromby or Mark Hudson. During the international break, you were playing alongside him in an inter-squad friendly. What was that like for you? Oh, it's great. It's you, you, want to first, you want to play with the first team all the time and like being interactive with him, so it was massive for me. I learned a lot from just playing alongside him, so hopefully I can get some more opportunities to do that. Tell us what it was like to play alongside Jonathan Hogg. Uh, at first, I was a bit, a bit nervous to play against him, play with him, I mean. And, uh, but then once he got into the game, he just kept on giving me the ball, so it was... I felt like I'd fitted in the team well with him, so it was good, yeah. And in that game as well, you are against the likes of Janino Bakuna, Danny Williams. What was it like to play against them in a competitive game? Oh, very good, yeah. It was good to challenge myself against players like from the first team, so I like to do it all the time, so it was really good, yeah. And I suppose you've had chances like that with the bespoke games programme that yourself, the under-19s and the elite development team are doing this year. You. Mm challenging yourself against first team opponents. Yeah, yeah, yeah massively, because these games coming up now, like Brentford tomorrow and then going away to Portugal and stuff, it'll be a massive opportunity to show what the team can do against like good teams like these. How does it benefit you playing different teams, like you say, Brentford tomorrow and then uh, Celta Vigo and, and Braga at the, the week after? How, how do you prepare for those different games? Uh, just trying different like tactics and stuff and like looking at what they're good at and what they're not good at, so where we can exploit and stuff like that. So it'd be, it'd be massive opportunities and like great learning curve for us all to play different team lights. How does it benefit you as a player playing against all these different opponents? Oh, it benefits me a lot because you get to come up against different players, different positions, like how their formation is going to like adapt you to be different in the game and stuff like that. So it's, it just increases my knowledge more. And you mentioned obviously going abroad to Portugal, but already this season you've been away, you played against the likes of Bayern Munich. What was that like for you? It must have been an unusual experience. Yeah, it's come from, from playing like games against Sheffield Wednesday and Leeds and stuff like that, it's a massive change to go away to like Germany and Portugal and places like this. So it's amazing for us all to go to like places like this and play games against like the best teams where we want to challenge ourselves. It must have been exciting for you as well to play against such high-quality opponents. Yeah, yeah, yeah massively, yeah, because it just improves us more and more and increases our knowledge, so it's great for us all, yeah. And like you say, Brentford tomorrow, a, a different kind of style. What are you guys looking to get out of that game? Uh, a good performance, good performance and possibly get the win because it's so far away, so we want to come home happy. So, yeah, we're looking for a good performance and a good team, team game tomorrow. Yeah. Do you get a sense that everyone in the team is kind of raring to go to show everyone what they can do and then play against the first team in those inter-squad friendlies, it gives you a real opportunity. Yeah, it gives a great opportunity. Like Games like that, when the international break is, we get to show like the manager and Hughesy and play, uh, people like that to 
show what we can actually do against like the first team and stuff like that. Do they give you uh, constructive feedback, criticism after those games? Yeah, yeah. Hughes gave me some feedback during half time and stuff like that, and then like, after the game. So yeah, it's great for me to play with the first team and know what uh, I can do better. How beneficial is that for you to speak to the likes of Andrew Hughes, obviously first team coach, for him to pull you over and say, Scott, you're doing this right, you're not doing this right? Oh, it's great, yeah. That's what I want to do like most days with the first team. I want to try and push myself against the best. So if he's giving me comments and what I can improve, then I'm obviously going to go and do it. So it's great for me. Yeah. Thank you for speaking to us. Yes, thank you.